this to this one. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Before we start, Fabio will address the room. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I will try to speak in English, but I can promise you guys. So if I can't, uh, I will talk in Portuguese, but I'm ready to, to talk. Okay, so we'll start with James. That's it. Hi Fabio, uh, you've been with Arsenal for nine months now, and in the last two or three months you're playing more games, more minutes. Are you feeling very comfortable, very settled here now in London? Uh, I feel comfortable here. Uh, after a few months, I can say I feel at home here, I feel conf confident and, and comfortable and uh, I'm really enjoying to be to be here and ready to, to go forward. Was it a difficult start for you at the beginning? Because when you arrived and when we were in America you had the injury, did that make it difficult for you in the beginning? Yes, of course, uh, I arrived with, with an injury and of course it's always different for a new player, arrive here in a new country, different culture, everything is, is different, so yes, hard for me. But uh, after a few months, I, I'm ready and uh, enjoying, and I'm develop, I develop a lot, and uh, I'm here to, to help the team. And has the manager given you a lot of confidence through this process of your development? Has he been speaking to you, talking to you, giving you encouragement that you're important in his plans? Yes, from the beginning, he, he spoke to me, and uh, he told me what he expects from, from me, and... Uh, yeah, of course, uh, he told me what I can do uh, on the team and uh, help the team as much as I can. And uh, he's always tried to, to help me on the pitch and, and outside. Simon? Um, the English game is obviously very, very physical. How have you found adapting to that coming from Portugal and playing in England? It's different. Uh, in, Engl in England, it's more physical. Um, Portugal more technical. Uh, it's you. You have to. You have to adapt. Of course, it's different uh, types of of game. And uh, yeah, but as I said before, now after a few months, uh, I develop a lot and uh, I'm improving a lot uh, every days and uh, to try to to do my best. Is it, is it something you worked on changing your diet? changing how you work in the gym to, to adapt? It's the way I work on the gym, of course, and on the pitch. I think the most important thing is on the pitch. Is there where, where you play. And, uh, of course, outside the pitch, it's very important as well. You need to, to, to improve your, your physical, and uh, I'm improving. Um, Fabio, some people think you're being um, moulded in the same way that Pep did with Bernardo Silva at Manchester City. Do you see that comparison? Is he a player that you admire? Yeah, of course I, I admire him. He's an extraordinary player. I know him from from Portugal. He plays before in Benfica and I know him very well. Uh, yeah, I think we are uh, similar players with, uh, with uh, similar qualities as well. And yes, of course I admire him. Is he, did you talk to him about moving to England? Did he give you advice? No, no, we don't. He don't talk to me. No, no, no. But do you see yourself being able to have the same impact at Arsenal that he's had at Manchester City? Uh, I think, of course, I I arrive here with an injury. It's always dif difficult for any player. Um, we are always one step behind. And, uh, yeah, I improve a lot. I work a lot and uh, I think this is a question of, of time to, for me to, to be there and help the team and show my qualities to, to the fans and that's it. You talked about it being a technical league in Portugal. When Martin Odegaard came from Spain it was a similar situation. It probably took him six months to really adapt to English football and show what he can do. Is he sort of almost like a role model for you in terms of what he has done at Arsenal? Sorry, can you repeat please? When Martin Odegaard, it took him maybe six months to adapt to English football and play his best football. 
and now he's doing he's showing that he can be a technical player in English football. <clears throat> do you think you can do the same thing? Is he sort of shown you what can be done here? Yes, as I said, uh, it's a question of time. You know, you have to to improve your body, your your capacities, your qualities. And I'm improving a lot uh, on the on the gym, for example, to to be better in my physical. And yes, in Spain, in Portugal, is a similar type of the game, very technical. Here is different; is more physical. And for me, and for the skinny players, is more difficult, you know. <laughs> so yes, we have to improve and uh, wait for our chances to to show our qualities. You are very similar in style. To Martin Odegaard, can can you play in the same team, or is it always going to be one or the other? Yeah, we can play in the same team. Uh, I think we are very similar. We are both uh, left foot, so we we have a lot of qualities, you know. And uh, yeah, I I admire him a lot, and uh, we can uh, we can help and we can learn from each other. Have you? You used to play against the Sporting when you were playing the sport in, the, in, the, in Portugal. How do you think this would be motivated you tomorrow? And do you have any advice for your colleagues in Arsenal how to play against both this team from your experience? Yeah, uh, I play against them, of course, a lot of times in Portugal. I know them very well. I know the players. I know the, the coach as well. They have a good team good team and uh, they are well organized so but we know we we have been working during this week we know what we can expect from the game and we know what we want from the game so we have to be in our eye focus to to beat them and uh, we need to to attack their their box as much as we can to to score Holding joked on his social media about your ghost foul. <laughs> How much have you enjoyed settling in at Arsenal with your teammates? How well do you get on with them? I think we have a good relation, a good friendship between us. We are always joking each with each other, and this is very important um, in the teams. So yeah, that game was <laughs> was a fault. Was not fault, but. <laughs> And uh, yeah, but I think the spirit on the on the around the the team is good, and uh, this is very important for us. You can see the spirit on the training ground watching today. Uh, Gabriel Jesus was out there smiling with you and the rest of the team. How important is it that he's back now, fighting fit? Yeah, he's a very special player. Everyone knows him. He has a lot of qualities. He can bring us a lot of qualities. And we are very happy, of course, to for him to to be back, and uh, he's one uh, one more player to to help us to to win. And finally, the Europa League. How much of a how much of a competition is it being prioritised by you as the players compared to the Premier League uh, in the title race? Yeah, we need to think. Uh, I think uh, we have to think step by step and game by game. You know. Uh, we are. We have been doing a, a great job so far, and uh, we have to keep doing with the same focus, thinking game by game. And uh, of course, we want to to win the Premier League and we want to win the Europa League as well. So, but we need to go step by step. Welcome, Kyle. Hi, Fabio. Speaking of your teammates as well, one person you seem to have struck up a really good relationship with is Gabriel Martinelli. Yeah. That seemed to happen pretty instantly at the start. What was it about him that you guys sort of immediately clicked? I didn't know him before I came to to Arsenal. Uh, we met in Germany in the pre-season and we started to talk. And uh, this is this is what was the connection from the beginning. So I, I cannot explain. <laughs> so yeah, but I really like him. He's a good guy, good good person. He is very humble and with a good heart. And on the pitch, we saw in the last minute against Aston Villa, your assist to him. You seem to celebrate that a little bit extra even. Are you hoping to have more moments like that on the pitch with him now? Yeah, of course. As I said, I'm, I'm here to, to help the team as much as I can. I, I like to assist my, my teammates 
and if I have chances to do, I will I will assist. And it was him, and I was very happy to to him to to score. Just one left back. Hi Fabio. What would you say your biggest challenge has been this season, reflecting on that year so far? My big sorry. Biggest challenge. Personally, or yeah, personally I want to I want to to develop a lot, to improve a lot in my in my physical, in my defensive defensive positional. I think I can be better, and I'm here to to do to do it. I'm, I want to to be part of this team. I want to to be there to help them, and uh, of course I want to to win the Premier League. This is a, a dream come true. So, I want to win the, the both competitions, European League and, uh, and the Premier League. This and is my aspiration. Very last one over here, please. Fabio, when you say it is more difficult for skinny players, what is the biggest problem? Is it the, the physical power you need or the fact that English football is so physical? What is it about being skinny that is more difficult? No, I think uh, when you don't have the physical, you have the intelligence, you know. Uh, I I'm an intelligent player, and as I said before, I just need to 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 improve my my positional, you know, my position on the on the pitch, to to create more space for me and to to get assists or or goals. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, well done. Thank you very much. That's good. Very good. Very good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Your interpreter is redundant. Yeah, he didn't need the interpreter. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>